how to level up. If you don't know what the CEFR levels are, I explained them in this video, link in the description. Now I'm going to explain how to go up a level. It's very easy to get stuck on a level, to stagnate. Here's how to push past that. When you're learning a foreign language, each level can be explained by resources. If you're at A1 beginner, you use very easy resources. And if you're at C2 upper advanced proficient, then you use very difficult resources. Here are some examples for each level. A1 beginner, super easy children's stories or nursery rhymes, even just vocabulary videos like my first words videos. A2 elementary, more difficult children's stories or really easy YouTube channels like Easy French or Easy Spanish. B1 Intermediate, children's cartoons aged about 5 to 11 years old, and easy comic books. On a side note, I think people who like watching children's cartoons have a real advantage when it comes to learning a foreign language because when you're a beginner up to intermediate, you kind of are at the level of children. B2 Upper Intermediate, regular cartoons like Avatar The Legend of Aang, young adult novels like Harry Potter or The Hunger Games. C1 Advanced, live action TV shows and films like Breaking Bad or Friends. Regular adult novels, not adult novels, but novels written for adults, not that kind of adult novel. Regular novels. C2 proficient or upper advanced. Podcasts, audiobooks, and difficult literary novels like How to Kill a Mockingbird. How to Kill a Mockingbird? How to Kill a Mockingbird. So one way to push yourself to level up is to challenge yourself by using a resource from a higher level. Typically you want to understand 60 to 90% of a resource in order for you to learn from it. That means if you're watching a TV show and there are 10 words, you should understand six to nine of those 10 words. Go watch a TV show, count to 10. If you can understand six to nine of those 10 words, then that's about the right level. Because when you understand six to nine out of every 10 words, then it can help you understand the rest of the words. If you understand fewer than six out of every 10 words, then it's very difficult to use that to figure out what the rest of it means. Language learning is problem solving, remember? It's getting six pieces of jigsaw puzzle and figuring out what the other four pieces of the jigsaw puzzle are. If you understand less than 60% of something, then you can possibly still take on that challenge and push yourself forward, but you may need tools like subtitles and online translators to help you figure out what they mean. Also, it's worth bearing in mind that the first time you ever look at a new resource, for me the first episode of a new TV series or the first few pages of a new book, are always super difficult. You have to get used to the way the actors speak or the way that the author is writing and everyone has their own style of language. But when you get past the first few pages or the first episode, then usually it's plain sailing from there. Thanks for watching that video. If you want to watch another one, click here. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section or on Twitter or somewhere like that, and I will answer them for you. Uh, subscribe!